Hello, welcome to our new garden center. We've been looking forward to opening this place since last fall when we, we started, and finally we're here. Um, so if you've never been here before, we want to take you on a quick tour. This is our new retail area, our enclosed area, where we can carry things like pottery, seeds, house plants, a lot more easily. We have a scavenger hunt for the kids to take part and keep them occupied as they're walking through our greenhouse. So in here we've got house plants. We've got some pottery for house plants and containers. Um, we've got it. Our theme was our farm. Our farm's been in our family for four generations, and that's kind of our theme here. We wanted the, the front to look like a barn as you go through. We've got some old um, barn flooring that that we took out of our barn. We've got some ladders, some old tools and equipment hanging around, some horseshoes that we used to find in the lots around here. Um, we just wanted to give you the feel of our family and our heritage here. So this actually was an old feed box that used to be in the milking parlor. And I remember when I was young, we'd open the lid up, get scoops of feed out to feed the cows when they're milking. So that's a, an old piece right there. In our new garden center, we have bathrooms, so no more going behind the uh, dumpster to the porta john I know some of you might miss that, but we're happy to have indoor restrooms. I think this part turned out very nice. Jillian did all of the decorating here, and we're very happy with it. Out here is our new greenhouse. This is what we've been working on for the last six months or so um, it was a bigger project than I ever imagined but it's it turned out just like I feel like just like what I was envisioning in my mind from the very beginning so in here we've got room for a lot more hanging baskets we've got hanging basket wall they're just this past week they're really starting to flower and look really good so we're excited about that flowers you know make us excited around here so um, we got some beautiful Rieger begonia baskets here Everything's just starting to really burst. The longer days and the warmer weather, um, it's just like that every year. Things aren't flowering, and then we get to this time of year, and they, they really start. I get a little worried, and then boom, they just start flowering and, and looking great just, just in time. So as we go on through here, we've got our, our, our benches like we always do. We have uh, color tables. We've got foliage tables. Um, we've got a lot of tropicals in here that look great. This greenhouse is about the same size as our older old one, but a little bit bigger. But we don't have the checkout in here, so it gives us more room. And a great benefit is the ceilings are a lot higher, which is going to make it a lot more comfortable in here. It doesn't get it so hot in here so quick, so it's a lot more comfortable. And the other great thing is concrete floors. Um, they're level, no more rollaway carts. It's going to be a lot easier for you to get around in here. One of our new products this year is a line from Coast of Maine. It's potting soil, soil amendments, there's raised bed mixes, there's tomato mixes, uh, compost blends. Uh, we're really excited about those. We tried some last year and they worked really well for us. Um, talking to other people and they've had a lot of luck with that too. So we're really excited about the Coast of Maine line. Out here is our outside sales area. We're getting a lot of perennials and shrubs. Last week, this week, we've gotten quite a few loads in. It's starting to fill up out here. There's some perennials that are blooming, um, starting to look great. We have the approval winter area over here. We've got some salvia that are starting to bloom and some dianthus. And the dianthus smell awesome. I don't know how many of you grow dianthus, but it's a low growing, kind of an evergreen ground cover type thing. And the flowers just smell so spicy and sweet. They're just wonderful. Um, over here are lilacs. We've got some lilacs that are getting ready to bloom, so they'll be blooming here in the next uh, a week or two or three, depending on which variety. They look great. Um, one of the things this year that we've got plenty of are, are berries. Uh, berries are great for your backyards. Uh, they're small. They don't take up so much space like a big old apple tree. They're easy to take care of. You don't have to spray them every week. Um, we've got strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. Uh, for those of you that know rhubarb, we have some rhubarb here. One of my favorites, um, my rhubarb custard pie that my mom always made is my favorite. So I'm going to be eating some rhubarb soon. 
Um, as you go along here, we have the, the path. We've got carts full of, of plants ready to take off and I um, think things are looking really good and we're really excited to see you out here. I just wanted to make a note. Our spring celebration is tomorrow from nine to three. We have Rocky Mountain Coffee here and we have Guayla Mexican food truck here. Uh, the coffee is here from, I believe, 9 to maybe around 11, and the way the gets is here from about, I think, 11.30 or 12 till 2. So come out, um, get a coffee, get a, a burrito, and uh, enjoy the beautiful plants, and it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. I'll see you then.